Hey guys, welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2016 and part 8 of our Durham County Cr Cricket Club mini series. And today we have the big, big derby match against Yorkshire. And well, in the last episode, um, if you didn't see it, we beat. Um, who was it again? Or was it a draw? I think it may have been a draw, but the, the, this was long ago now. If we go back in the fixtures, um, oh dear, making a fool of myself here. Um, pretty sure it was a draw. Yeah, Nottinghamshire drew with Durham. Um, bit of a disappointing end. We could have possibly won it in the end, but didn't. Um, so yeah, we're going to be going for it today hopefully and and getting a victory against Yorkshire uh, so here's the team selection Amla's out again so we're gonna put Jennings at three and uh, yeah just move everybody up I don't think we've got Wood or Stokes have we so yeah we'll just have to put somebody else in Clark is the man to come back um, and yeah I'm pretty happy with that team there's no reason why any of them need to be dropped um, you know this guy's making a bit of a a case Barry McCarthy his bowling form has been pretty good for the second team his batting form not too bad as well he's played a couple of uh, one day uh, matches first class matches is what I'm trying to say um, but we'll give these guys a go today and we'll see how they do against Yorkshire so Better put my headphones on. Uh, we are going to be batting first, and this is on a batsman's paradise, remember. So hopefully, um, we'll do okay today. So we'll put that on low, we'll put that that up a little bit, and hopefully we'll still do okay. It looks to Azad. Now Azad seems to either get out quickly or go and get a decent score. So hopefully it's uh, the latter today. Four from Mark Stoneman there. These two are nice and settled now so we'll be a bit more proactive. I mean we only got 72 runs in that opening session. That's a little bit disappointing to be quite honest with you. And that could be his add out. It's not low and he's passed his 50 quite easily so I'm happy with that. Stoneman gone for 51. Unlucky uh, Mark Stoneman. Jennings has gone for 31. He hasn't been particularly good, Keaton Jennings, um, since the start of this series. Anyway, Zad, 81, not now quite happy with him. Um, yeah, 182, I think it was, for uh, 2 a T. That's not too bad. We're averaging about 90 runs a session. Uh, I would like to bump that up to about 100 by the end of play today, but. We'll just have to see how it goes. And then that's an appeal for his ad. Nothing in there. But he has got his 100. That's four from Scott Borthwick. Yorkshire have taken the new ball. You know, just going to increase the aggression of these boys just a little bit. Hopefully. Oh, his ad's gone for 110. I was going to say hopefully you won't get out before the close of play, but yeah. Um, yeah, quite happy with that end of day one 283 for 3 averaging about 90-94 a session that's that's not too bad at all um, see maths to bring quick maths no me I've probably done it wrong now but Borthwick he's gone for 85 so now he brings Clark to the crease um, which is good I, I do like Graham Clark so hopefully you can get a decent score today. That's high in the air from Paul Collingwood. There's a fielder out there. Oh, it's dropped and it's going to go for four. Will not complain. That's 50 for Paul Collingwood. So good little innings from him. Um, it's high in the air though and that's four as well. So he's right in his luck a little bit, Paul Collingwood. Oh, and Clark gone for 25. Unlucky there. 
Yeah, we'll bring Arshad in. Collinwood gone for 66. We're just trying to attack and get as much out of this innings as possible now. We're over the 400 mark. Point has been dropped. <coughs> He's gone for 38. Now Jamie Harrison comes to the crease launch interval day two. We've reached 441 for seven and rain stops play. We've lost a whole session there. Please say this isn't going to happen again. Oof. Um, do we do we declare? I think we declare on 445 for seven and have a good uh, 17 overs at Yorkshire at the close of play today and hopefully get a couple of wickets um, before the close of play. Harrison alive. That's a terrific delivery to Adam Lythe. And Harrison gets his first wicket. Lythe gone for 10. And now Yorkshire 15 for 1. Push left to Alex Lees. Not out. Gonna have to move him to him. Like that. Rushworth to Alex Lees, nothing there, and that's the end of day two, 57 for one, uh, we'll just have a look at the, the forecast, it's not looking terrific for the rest of the game, but hopefully we'll manage to, to get a few wickets and get the job done fairly swiftly, but we are struggling to get the second wicket here. Gonna bring Scott Borthwick in. Graham Williams to Williamson. That's a terrific delivery and Kane Williamson gone for 55. That's what we're talking about. <clears throat> Lunch interval day three though, and they're already 176 for two. Um that's not exactly ideal for us. Rush rush to Gail. And he's gone for 23. So Yorkshire 185 for three now, Harrison to Leany. And he's gone for a duck, so that's a terrific delivery from Jamie Harrison. Harrison to Lees. Unlucky. Graham Onions back into the attack and Arshad. And he's gone as well for 11 roads. Tim Bresman comes to the crease. Didn't get to use Tim Bresman much in the road the one. Arshad Alex Lees, he's gone for 107. And now we've got two new batsmen at the crease. Bresnan gone for 15. And hopefully we can just mop up the tail here. Yes, that's another wicket for Onions. Onions to Patterson now. Arshad to Hard. Onions to Hard. Bowling terrifically at these two, but yeah. Unlucky. Uh, we're going to bring Rushworth and um, Jim Harrison back in. Harrison to Hard. Not quite. That's a good delivery, and he's gone for 35. And they have avoided the follow on, so there's no point thinking about that right now. Brooks gone for five and Yorkshire 311 all out so first innings lead of 134 we're going to be proactive about this and try and get a decent lead remembering that we've already got pretty much 150 runs in the bag what a delivery has had gone Stoneman Oh, but Stoneman out for 28, a rare failure for Stoneman. End of day three then, we've reached 57 for two, so a lead of 191 going into day four. We are going to have to attack a little bit here. And know that we're probably not going to get the job done. In time. Jennings has gone as well. We are actually running the risk of losing this game at the moment but you know I've always said in this series we're going to be attacking we're going to try and win games when possible and um, that's exactly what we're doing right now Arshad's been hit he's one of our key bowlers we don't want him to be injured oh, Arshad's injured 
looked a lot more balling for the likes of Collingwood and um, Scott Borthwick then. Oh, Harrison gone for seven. I didn't think he was gone there. Um, we're getting the wards lunch. Do we declare? Couple of overs before lunch. Rushworth gone. Finish off this over. Let's declare. Let's do it. Let's just hope that these bowlers can be as effective as they were towards the end of the, the last innings. That's a good start if he's retired hurt. Oh, he hasn't. Never mind. Never mind. Harrison and Rushworth. Rushworth's alive. Edged it. Oh, that was dropped. That's not... though. Well... I think they've got away with a couple there. And uh, they're going at a decent rate. Edged and gone though. Lee's out for 27. That's a, a big wicket. We need to really push on though. Harrison to Williamson. He's gone as well for 10. I'm not getting excited just yet. Onions in. Rain stops play. 45 minutes lost. So that's pretty much ended our hopes here. You would think. Scott Borthwick. Um, this is the final session, so it looks like another draws on the cards here, which isn't what we want. Jamie Harrison into the attack. Harrison alive. Nope. Rushworth to life. He's gone for 95 now, then. Can we skittle them? Can we skittle them? Harrison to leaning. Didn't get it. Twelve overs left. We can still do this. Onions to Gale. And again. Oh, oh, that is out. That is out. Okay then. Scott Borthwick. What can you do? I mean, they're just as likely to win as we are at the moment. Which could work in our favour, to be quite honest. So, Borthwick to Rhodes. He gets his first wicket in the match. So, it's five wickets to win for us now. Onion Salini. Come on. Borthwick's too expensive. Far too expensive. Onion Salini. That's four. They've won, I think. No, they haven't. Oh, um, three overs left. Oh dear, they need two to win. They're going to do this. This is awful. Who do we bowl in the last over? Has to be Rushworth. This could be it. Oh, that's a good delivery. He's gone. He's gone. He's out. For 51, a new batsman comes to the crease. Oh, scores are tied. No run. Is this going to be it? It is. Yorkshire win. Oh. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We're still second in the table with a game in hand over Surrey, but that's disappointing. We've got Hampshire in the next match. Title rivals and Arshad's out for five weeks. Oh no, no, no. That's really not what we wanted. It uh, looks like everybody's on international duty. Um, well, Mark Wood's back. So hopefully Mark Wood can play for us instead of our shed that would be good so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode please leave a like down below if you did you don't have to of course bone me enough for me and for the channel and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye